Hello everyone, this is Introvert Shy Guy, and welcome to my gameplay of Super Luigi Galaxy. So yeah, I'm back in Rhode Island. Um, I'm all, I've already like you know put, set up everything, and um, I've just started classes and everything. So uh, I'm basically just I'd say back to my headquarters. I would say you know the place where I officially live. So yeah, anyway, today is September the 8th, so I just thought I would just, like, update you guys and just talk about maybe some stuff. Um, because, I mean, as you guys know, I've already started classes, and so far things are going pretty good, as usual. Um, you know, just doing the usual and everything. I'm actually kind of, I'm kind of glad that I'm actually back, because it's like, you know, it's, like, just doing the familiar stuff. I mean, like, doing college life is pretty fun, in my opinion, like, you know, just... For, because now I've kind of fully adjusted to it and everything, and, you know, I'm just being by myself and all that. Not to say that I don't enjoy being back at home, I mean, like, it's obviously I have the great, like, great stuff and everything, but it's like, especially getting, getting away from the Florida heat, like, Jesus. Like, now that I'm back here, I mean, like, even when it, when it was pretty hot, like, in the 30s and stuff, 30 degrees Celsius, by the way, I always focus on Celsius, but it does get pretty hot, but not as hot as Florida. As a matter of fact, like, Pretty much every day, ever since I'm in Rhode Island, I've been wearing just long pants. You know, I've never been able to do that uh, back in Florida because, like, it's fucking impossible to, to wear long pants. I'm not going to do a comment. I really don't feel like doing that. I just want to do regular stars for now. So, been be able, I was able to wear long pants every day, and it's also not that... It's, like, really, it's not that hot, especially with the crisp, dry air. Like, it doesn't even feel humid at all. I mean, sometimes it does, but it's not that not that bad, really. You know, it's most of the time dry, you know? And, uh, so yeah, so everything is going great. So I just thought I'd just tell you guys what's going to happen and everything. So as you, as you guys know, since I'm back in Rhode Island, now I'm able to play... Oh, I can face uh, Bowser. Nice. Yeah, I guess we'll do a little boss battle, why not? Okay, so I just tell you guys that since I'm back in Rhode Island, I'm now able to play The Legend of Spyro Dawn of the Dragons, and you know this game, here's the thing, even though it's, unlike say the second game where it was completely copy-pasted on everything, it, like, it basically has the same feel as the first game, but the problem is that they always, like, just take in some of the aspects from the first game and just copy-pasted it, like, obviously there was not a lot of work put into it, like, I just feel like it, they just half-assed it, you know, but even then I still enjoyed the game, although I do remember back then when I first played it, like, the difficulty in that game was so hard, I remember I died a lot of times, but unlike, say, the, all the, the time I played it when I made the gameplay, it wasn't that bad, really, you know, so, like, I was able to go through it, um, but the thing is, though, is that Legend of Spyro, Dawn of the Dragons, even though it's complete, it's, it's a completely new game, um, it's very unfamiliar to me, because bear in mind, I only played that game, like, literally once in my life. Unlike, say, you know, New Legend of Spyro New Beginning, I actually played that game, um... Oh shit, I, I should have jumped. I completely forgot there was a black hole, I'm sorry. Um, even though I, um... I already, uh... What was I gonna say? Like... Yeah, so Dawn, uh, the Eternal Night, I actually played that game like a few times, including A New Beginning. I was going to say, the point is, the first two games I've played a lot, Dawn of the Dragons, I've only played it literally once in my life, because um, even though it was, a, it was a fun game when I played it and stuff, but the problem was is that um, it, it was so, like, I wasn't really used to how the game plays and stuff, unlike, say, both New Beginning and Dawn of the Dragon, because they're very similar, whereas this one is, like, completely new, and it was only that kind of game where I only feel like just playing it once and I never came back to it, you know what I'm saying? So to you guys, it might sound like, oh, this is a game maybe I might not enjoy and stuff. I don't think so. I think I do. I would kind of enjoy it. Obviously, I'm not, I'm gonna say it right now, it's, it's obviously not a fantastic game, but it's... You know, definitely a, a fun game, I would say. Maybe like an alright game, I would, I would say. Like, something like that. Anyway, surprise that the battery was low. By the way, the batteries I'm using are um, the ones that I kind of took out when I, like, came back, left back to Florida. Because I didn't want to keep it in the Wii Remote. But, and these are, I kind of left them here 
in Rhode Island for those months, but I guess now they're kind of low, so I'll just replace them. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So yeah, as what I was saying, oh, I accidentally pressed return to your menu, no. Uh, I had to do this. As what I was saying, so yeah, Dawn of the Dragons I think is a good game, but you know, I just didn't enjoy it as much as the other Legend of Spyro games, e including Eternal Night, even though like, like I said, it's copy-pasted, but even though, you know, I, I still enjoyed it. So point what I'm trying to say is that Dawn of the Dragons, I'm, I'll be completely unfamiliar to when I first play it. So obviously when I start playing, don't be surprised if there are going to be times where I'm like, oh, where do I go or what do I do, that kind of thing. Because like I said, it's been years since I played Dawn of the Dragons. So that's what I'm saying. Hence why I said in one of my gameplays, like, one, one of them I would say, oh, hang on. Okay, I was, this is the first time I've seen Luigi in this face. You know, you've seen Mario do that, and now I saw Luigi, so there you go. Oh, shit! Hang on. Oh, uh, fuck. What I was trying, I was gonna say is, I was wondering if the dialogue was different. If, the, if that was the case, hang on, hang on. Damn, I'm gonna have to redo that. Because, like... I don't know if maybe what he said was different dialogue. That's why I was skipping, because I thought, oh, it's the same thing, so why, why would I need to read it? But anyway, so honestly, I'm not going to keep this in. I'll just skip to where Bowser was and then continue talking, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So anyway, let's see if the dialogue is different. I don't think it is, but well, ha, 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 he finally made it. Yeah, I think it's the same. So basically, I kind of exited it. Just in time. Yeah, I exited out just all for nothing, so I apologize, guys. But I was just wondering if maybe playing as Luigi there would be special dialogue, but I don't think so. I think everything is the same. It's just Luigi's, like, replaces from Mario, you know? So, yeah. My bad. Oh, fuck. Come on. There we go. Yeah, so anyway, that's what I was saying. Uh, so I did mention in one of my like, old gameplays. I don't know which one, really, but I remember when I said that I was planning on playing Dawn of the Dragons once I obtained, like, my bachelor's degree from University of Tampa, or, when, or basically when, I'm cl when I was close to obtaining my bachelor's degree. So basically, as of now, since the, I technically have a bachelor's degree from University of Tampa, I figured, you know, now is the perfect time to play it, you know? So that's kind of why I'm like, yeah, Dawn of the Dragons is something I'm going to play. Unlike, say, when, before when I was putting it off. So that's why this is actually happening now, because, like, I did say in one of my old gameplays that I was going to come back to play that game, and that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, that's what's going to happen. I don't know when it's going to, when I'm going to do it, either tomorrow or, or whatnot. If you guys are wondering why, you know, playing this, this game in September already. I just wanted to have just first one free week like for myself because right now I'm like just playing Fire Emblem Three Houses. I'm like playing the uh, Golden Deer House because I already finished the Black Eagle and the uh, Blue Lions. That Black Eagle, I, I actually did play the Church of Saros route. I didn't do the, I didn't stuck with Edelgard so yeah, that's probably one other thing I'm gonna have to do later, so... Yeah, so I'm doing that now, just replaying Fire Emblem as just a game to, to play while I'm like staying here, because as, as you guys know, I'm patiently waiting for uh, Super Mario RPG, the, the remake, and I'm really looking forward to it, but obviously it comes out in November, so I'm playing Fire Emblem for now until that game arrives. Now somehow if I finish Fire Emblem, the Golden Deer House, like if, if I finish it far earlier than expected, then may, then I probably will then get the game uh, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. This is another, it's like a Mario game that's completely different and it looks interesting so maybe I'll probably get that game, you know, just to, to play until RPG comes out. If somehow I finish uh, three houses like earlier, you know? Because once I finish the Golden Deer, yeah, I'm not gonna go play the Edelgard one, because as you guys know, like, obviously when I play an RPG and stuff, I like to take a break from it, so... Yeah, uh, so... I won't play that route immediately, I'll just play a different game until then, you know? Okay, so now... 
get to a new place. Mom. Yeah, so I'll just skip this. Alright. Anyway, so as I was saying, what else? Uh, yeah, so I guess that's what's gonna happen. So look forward to Dawn of the Dragons. Like, as you guys know, I can also play Princess of Angel, but for now, I'll do Dawn of the Dragons first because I've already played Princess of Angel plenty, so I wanna play Dawn of the Dragons for now. So that's what I'm gonna do. Mm, excuse me. And I don't know, also, I might do that little thing I usually do. Like, so I play Dawn of the Dragons and then I play um, Princess of Angel, that kind of thing in a pattern, so I might do that again, you know? And this time I want to talk about political stuff, because as you guys know, um, it's the 2024 primary, well, Republican primary. We know that Trump is going to win it, hopefully, and but the Democratic primary, yeah, it's just nothing is going to go on. I know that there is uh, R RFK Jr., but he's not really going to do anything. He's not going to go anywhere. It's going to be Biden. So honestly, it's just... So I'm just going to just talk about, like, just politics and everything regarding the primaries and, of course, the general and what I hope would happen and, like, all that kind of stuff. Because as you guys know, the Ukraine proxy war is still going and, like, threat of nuclear war being as clo closer than ever, you know. It is something that I wish to get off my chest before things get really bad, or if things start to get better, like, if you guys want to know, it's that obviously I'm going to be voting third party, but I would hope that maybe Trump would win re-election to maybe hopefully, you know, do something different, unlike, say, with what the Biden administration is doing, that kind of thing. I'll get into, into detail on that, obviously, uh, much later, not right now, because now I'm just, just talking about other stuff. So I guess what I want to talk about, like, obviously, you know, this thing kind of happened, so as you guys know, when I was talking about Super Mario Wonder, apparently Charles Martinet has not, is not voicing Mario anymore, which is unfortunate, but hey, you know what, I think this is a perfect time for him to retire, because he is 67 years old, so, you know, maybe it is time for him to, like, take a break from voice acting, and basically he's, he says he's still Super Mario Ambassador, so basically he's just going to be doing Mario impressions, like, at cons and stuff, and seeing kids and all that stuff, and like, just putting smiles on everyone's faces, so honestly, God bless him. It is a shame that he won't be voicing Mario anymore, but hey, it is what it is, and so far, like, obviously listening to the audio stuff on Mario from Mario Wonder, it does pretty much sound like Mario, obviously a little bit different. People speculate that, oh, because it's such a wacky game, that's why Mario sounds different, because it's like, a lot more wacky and everything, but no, apparently it's a different actor like voicing him. I don't know who. It'd be pretty funny if his replacement was um, Chris Pratt. <laughs> I mean, it would be so hilarious if that's true. I don't think it is, but it might. I mean, if it is, I actually wouldn't complain because he actually did a really good uh, Mario impression on that like plumbing commercial in the movie. So like, maybe it is, maybe it is him. It'd be pretty funny if it is, but I don't think they, they hired him because I mean, he probably doesn't even have like time and stuff in his schedule to like, be voicing a character in, a, in video games and everything, so I'm assuming it's definitely someone different. It'd be quite interesting what that guy is like, you know, considering that Martinet is like very charismatic and like he kind of reminds me of Robin Williams. I'm, I wonder what this new guy is like if, you know, he is also kind of like that or something, something else. I don't know. Obviously, I wouldn't be surprised if it's some voice actor that dubs anime because usually, obviously, voice actors for uh, Japanese video game companies tend to be anime dubbers, like obviously look at per Persona and even Fire Emblem. Uh, many of the voice actors kind of do anime dubbing, so yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it's some guy that dubs anime, you know. Or it could be some other... I mean, like obviously not, not a big actor, but you know, you know those kind of actors, like obviously voice actors in general, but yeah, like... Because the reason why I say this is because Martinet, obviously, he's never voice acted in anime. I mean, the only exception would be Magenta from this one Dragon Ball, like, Dragon Ball movie, which I haven't watched. I should watch it at some point. I'm not going to do this, actually, because, obviously, the shard's not located here. So, yeah. So, it, it is definitely some other guy. So, I'm very interested in what, what this guy is. I don't know. I don't know who. I haven't looked it up, but, you know... I don't know if his identity would be revealed once the game comes out, you know, once you look at the credits, so yeah. Definitely interesting. 
So that's my, that's my thoughts on this. Uh, you know, I know I, I why like if you guys are wondering why didn't I tweet about this on Gab about like what happened, like kind of like what I did with Reggie Fizeme when he retired. I was going to, but one I kind of got like I kind of forget and forgotten stuff, and I was like kind of lazy, so I didn't really post. But I guess another thing is that this kind of deserves a mention on maybe one of my gameplay videos instead of on Gab, considering he's such a monumental. Part of my childhood, unlike say Reggie Fizeme, where he was mainly just this big guy in the background. Obviously, he's done a lot of stuff like publicly, but it's like I only knew about the guy obviously when I was in high school, so not when I was like a kid. Like you know, I mean, well, I could say the same for Charles Martinet. I only knew about him like much later, but like Ch Charles Martinet is like far bigger, you know, in my opinion than like Reggie Fizeme. So hence, that's why I just wanted. I just left a tweet on, I mean, a gab post of. Reggie Fizeme, but for Charles Martinet, it deserves a gameplay video considering of like how big he was in my childhood and stuff. So yeah, I would basically just say to like God bless Charles Martinet. I hope he he continues doing what he loves and everything. Just thank you so much for being like just voicing my favorite childhood superhero. I'd say so. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so that's about it for this. Um, so another thing I guess I'd like to mention that... I mean, I already know about this, which unfortunately is a case that apparently Hurricane Lee is like... I'm is like... has formed and is like gonna go up north. The thing is though, we, we don't know if it's gonna hit like where I am. Obviously I'm in Rhode Island, so I'm hoping that it doesn't get... doesn't get too serious. Ignore the background, it's just some cars just going. Anyway, is there any, like, shell or anything? I, I think it's in the case, but, I mean, the chest. It has to be, like, it's the only place I haven't looked. But where can I find a Koopa shell? Oh, wait, what if it's in the crate? Hang on. Oh, no! Okay, it wasn't in the chest. Sweet. There we go. Alright, so yeah, so Hurricane Lee has formed and it's, and it's uh, predicted to go up north, so I'm hoping it doesn't hit where I am, but man, how crazy would it be if it actually like does hit where I live and I was like hoping I wouldn't go get any more hurricanes, but I am I, was, I did say I was aware that uh, hurricanes are a thing in Rhode Island, but I was still hoping that, you know, there wouldn't be one that would hit where, where I would be, like, at least in the first first few years of my life, you know? Uh, I mean, the few, first few years living in this state. I can't get to it. What the hell? Oh, okay, now I can. Well, these guys, like, was very sloppy before, but I just wanted to just keep on going. There we go. And there's the star. Alright, got it. Yeah, so that's one thing I'm kind of worried about, Hurricane Lee. I really hope, because I was honestly hoping that maybe it wouldn't hit where I live in Rhode Island until like five years later, or at least like when I'm done with my uh, undergraduate degree in electronics engineering, but... I don't know what could happen here, but though, I mean, I'm not too worried. I'm honestly, I'm already prepared. I have, like, bottles of water. I kind of bought, I also just went to Home Depot and bought two lanterns, just in case there would be a blackout. And I also have a few flashlights as well, so. So, yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Anyway, Rosalina's library has opened, so you know what? Considering that I, uh, Skipped all, skipped all the stories because I was mainly focusing on gameplays and stuff. Or less of the story on this game, more of just me doing stuff. I figured, you know, why not? Just for you guys, I would read Rosalina's story. Why not? <laughs> like Luigi. Mario also does the same thing. Let us begin. All right, so I'll read it. I'll read it to you guys, and like I also maybe title it chapter one or something. I don't know. 
Chapter 1, The Celestial Duo. <clears throat> Our story begins a very, very long time ago with a young girl. One day, this girl spotted a rusted spaceship holding a small star child. What's your name? Are you lost? The girl asks the star child. I'm Luma, and I'm waiting for Mama. She's coming for me on a comet, said the star child who had been waiting day and night. Don't worry, I'll wait with you, the little girl promised Luma. At nightfall, nightfall, the little girl borrowed her father's telescope and peered into the sky. She looked and looked, but she saw nothing. Hours turned into days and then years, but still the sky revealed nothing. Finally, the little girl sighed and said to Luma, If we stay here looking much longer, I'll be an old lady soon. But then she had an idea. Why don't we go out there and find your mother ourselves? The girl and Luma fixed up the rusty spaceship and then the two set sail into the starry sky. And this is how the search for the celestial mother began. Nice, that should do it for today. You know, this is kind of weird in a way, like, a kind of new thing for a Mario game, like, this is kind of the only Mario game where you get to see, like, a little children's story, but it also kind of reveals the backstory of this new character, you know, uh, this new character, uh, wow, I'm already forgetting her name, that's, <laughs> it's been, like, Rosalina, there we go, like, fuck, it's, like, I'm sorry guys, this is, there's a lot of stuff going on and I, I'm like blanking out on certain video game characters and all that, like, it's just me getting old, I would say, <laughs> which is kind of unfortunate, but you know, it's alright. It's, it's a thing in life. Anyway, so yeah, this backstory in Rosalina, who's a new, brand new Mario character, and pretty interesting though, you get to know, read about her backstory through this. You don't really get that in Super Mario Odyssey, like, it would've been cool if you would know a backstory on Cappy or something, but it doesn't really happen on that game, but that's, that's alright. This game kind of focuses more on story and drama, like, compared to Odyssey, where Odyssey was very, very into more of the gameplay aspects than anything else. I still love Odyssey, though, like, you know, I think it's, like, just as good as, as this game, in a way. But anyway, so I guess that's about it. So I, what I'm trying to say is that I hope uh, Hurricane Lee doesn't hit me where I am. Because man, that would be very unfortunate if it does. Because like, you know, I'm like, what my parents say if when that happens. Like, I really, like, I don't want any drama, you know, in my life, you know. Mm, excuse me, so what I'm trying to say is that I really hope that no hurricane does happen. I don't really care if maybe... It does hit, hit us, but it's like a tropical storm. Like, I don't mind tropical storms, because tropical storms are whatever. But if it's a hurricane, you know, yeah, that's something. I'm definitely not going to evacuate. I'm going to stay where I am, because, you know, I live in an apartment building that's very high up, so I really don't think I have to evacuate, you know. So I think I'm good. But yeah, I don't want to share a place with strangers. I'd rather stick around here, but... I mean, if God forbid they probably order us all, because, yeah, this is not my personal property. This is the building that belongs to the uh, it's apartment complex, so I don't know if they may say something like that. I hope not. Because another thing is, like, I mean, I know I could go back to Florida, but the problem is, is that... Oh, sorry, I meant to say quit. Because the problem is, is that we don't, like, obviously I don't know yet. I am keeping track of it, but it's like my classes are still going on, so it's like if I would know when my classes are going to be off, because of this so-called hurricane, then yeah, I could make preparations to leave, but, you know, I don't know yet, that's a thing. And maybe if I do know when exactly, it might be too late, like, there might be no more flights to take. So yeah, so I just really, really hope Hurricane Lee doesn't become a problem, I really hope it just stays out in the ocean, you know, not close to where I live. Or weakens significantly once it goes up north and becomes Tropical Storm or something like that. Or it could be a hurricane, but maybe Category 1, but it's like very far out that it wouldn't feel too too bad, like, near us, you know what I'm saying? Or near me, not us, because it's just me. So yeah, I hope nothing bad happens, and I hope things things continue to, to, to go well, I would say. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next gameplay series of Legend of Spyro Dawn of the Dragons. Alright, bye everyone.